How many years have you been doing variable rate fertility on your farm? Uh, four years now. What types of things have you seen in the last four years that have uh, that have allowed you, or I guess, uh, encouraged you to keep on working with variable rate fertility? I guess the biggest thing would be the uniformity of maturity. It would be our number one thing. Corner to corner, everything seems to average out a lot better than what we were doing previous. Do you think that your your uh, Fertilizer bill has gone down, gone up, stayed about the same since starting with variable rate fertility? I would say it's stayed the same, but as we do better varieties, we're pushing them, so it's gone up. Our fertilizer bill, I'd say, has gone up, yes. Can you think of a field uh, in, over the last four years where you were surprised, on the good, on the good side of surprise, when you went in with the calm line to harvest? Yeah, we had a field of oats, and the low ground we were pushing 80 pounds of N, high ground we were up over 100, and it did not lodge, did not go down, and the crop was close to 180 bushels, so we were very pleased. How has the experience been working with Farmer's Edge? It's been great. Uh, they were a new company, and it was new technology to us, and they were patient, and I'm glad our gear was close enough to the farm we could run out early mornings and late nights, but now with better technology, things can be emailed to the farmer and you can email them straight to the tractor cab now, so that's improved customer relations that way and things just progress and the technology is meant to make things easier, it's where you want to adapt to it.